you have some quail growing out and you're wondering when can you combine those young quail with the older quail and make sure that they all get along, well that's the topic of today's video so stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Rednecked video. Again, my name is Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. In today's video, I'm going to answer a question I get all the time, and that is, when can you combine your young grow-out quail with your older quail? Now, I'll tell you, there's a couple of ways that I've tried this. I've tried to combine very young quail, like three weeks old, when I first bring them out of the brooder box outside with my older quail doesn't typically work out very well. They, um, they don't necessarily pick on those birds, but they're so much bigger than those young birds, they tend to kind of trample them, either whether it's inadvertent or intentional, I don't know, but they do get beat up quite a bit and don't, just don't typically uh, go together very well. Now on the flip side, if you wait until those birds are completely mature at about eight weeks old and the roosters start crowing, the hens are starting to lay eggs, then you combine them with an existing flock of quail, there tends to be all kinds of fighting where they're trying to establish dominance, uh, you know, establish a pecking order, so to speak. And they'll peck out their eyes, they'll, they'll pull feathers from their breast, from their back. Um, you'll see all kinds of wounds on the birds where they get just all kinds of beat up. They may even kill a couple of those birds before they all kind of settle down. So that's always tricky as well. And I've talked in other videos about how to go about um, combining birds like that. Um, I'm not going to spend much time talking about it in this video. But here's something that has worked out pretty well for me over the past about five or six hatches and uh, I've just been experimenting with. As I take the birds that are growing out, I'll wait till they're about five weeks old. At five weeks old, they're pretty, pretty, pretty big birds, almost fully grown, but not quite. But they're big enough to kind of hold their own, not get trampled, not get beat up too much just by inadvertent trampling and, and when the birds are all kind of climbing over each other. Um, but they're not sexually mature yet, so the roosters aren't crowing yet, and they've got a couple of weeks before they will. The females aren't laying eggs yet, they've got a couple of weeks before they will. So that's a good time, I found, to go ahead and combine them with your existing birds. And what I found when I do that is I have very little, if any, problems with fighting. And I've tried this with both my jumbo pharaohs in the other cage or the ones I'm going to show you today which is my showfield silvers. I'm trying to establish a flock here um, or grow my numbers I should say on my showfield silvers. So I've been trying to add to them for my last couple of hatches and I'm finding again five weeks old roughly, five to six weeks old, that's a good time to throw them in. And that's what I did with this. Some of these birds in here are um, going on about seven, eight months old. And some of them are just six, well, they're just now hitting eight weeks old. Um, and they've been in here since they were about five weeks old. And I've been watching them pretty close, have had no issues with fighting. I'll bring you in real close and I'll show you. I can't even tell which ones are the new birds and which ones are the older birds anymore. Uh, but you'll see what I mean. There's none, none of these birds have really any kind of major wounds. Let me bring you in close and show you what I'm talking about. All right, I hope this is showing up on film or, uh, well enough. It's kind of dark in here, but again, this is just a mix of older and younger birds. Um, these, there's some tuxedos in here, like this one over here in the corner, or on the side, I should say, but, but the young ones are gonna be some of the showfield grays, and I don't know which ones anymore, uh, because they're all pretty much grown out. And there's a couple hiding in here. Let me open up the other side, see if I can get them to come out and, and show us. Come on, guys. Go on, go on out there. Well, they don't want to. But anyway, the point is you can kind of see none of these guys have any kind of uh, wounds, any kind of eye damage, which is what you're normally going to see. See a couple of them like this one right here, if you can see that on film. I don't know. It's got a bald head on the back. But that's not from fighting. That's from being bred. So my guess is that those are the older ones, the ones that have the feathers missing on the back of their head are the older hens. And the ones that uh, don't have any feathers missing uh, they're either um, roosters or they're, well, they're young roosters if they are because I didn't have any silver roosters or they're, um, or they're the young hens that are just now growing out because they haven't been starting to get bred yet. But no problems, no, uh, no eyes missing, no wounds on their face or their head or um, you know, their chest, none of their back feathers, any of that kind of stuff gone. Um, they're, they're doing pretty well and uh, again, no issues with, uh, with any kind of uh, real fighting or anything like that. So you can see that, that that strategy has been working pretty well for me. I've been trying it for, like I said, about six or seven of the last hatches. And so far, every time, it's worked out very well. No, no major issues, no problems really whatsoever with fighting that you would normally see with combining um, two flocks of quail together. Uh, leave me a comment below and let me know if you've tried to combine some of your younger quail with some of your older quail. What kind of results did you get? Have you done it younger and it's worked out? Or have you had problems with it? Um, what's your experience with that yourselves? Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and uh, as always, God bless.